listens to the tune What seemed like fifty years Or maybe it was five It's hard to count the days When you're buried alive
There's a light on at the Spitfire. The Spitfire? It's your best chance for a job. Besides the local prison, it's the only guest room in town. Looks like Hannah's working at Midnight Oil.
put you out on the street like that. You tell me what to do and I'll do it, but don't you never grab at me. Smart mouth girl, fresh out of jail. Can't tell a skillet from a garbage pail. Keep in your place, this place is mine. Mind your own business and we'll get along fine. Twenty odd years, the hell comes and goes. Who the hell cares and who the hell knows? Who wiped off the tables and straight in the chairs? Who the hell knows and who the hell cares? on the street last night, right after the midnight bell. I think you read too many of the tabloids that you sell. I hear people talk all over town. I thought that you should know. Nice to see you're so concerned. Now take a seat or go. Man, gossip of Gilead. I'm not one to repeat gossip. No, I think you're always the one who starts it. <laughs> say what you want, say what you will. Something's cooking up a spit fire grill. Besides the stinking coffee, I think I smell a rat. And I'll spread the word all over town. She won't get tipped one time. To hear it your way, Effie, you'd think tipping was a crime. Say what you want, say what you will. Something's cooking up a spitfire grill. I hear she appeared on the street last night with a motorcycle gang. This town, this is. Caleb Thorpe, he's got that little real estate office just across the street there. Only till the core is open again, Joe. I was a foreman out on the court. Is that right? And where you come from, Miss Talbot? Detroit. Oh yeah? Well, I had some clients from Detroit once. They don't sound like it. I don't mind coming from someplace else if that don't suit you. I sort of look after Granny now, so you'll probably be seeing quite a bit of it. Well then, Mr. Thorpe, if you'll just tell me what you're having. Oh, Anna knows what I'm having. That one's been real popular this morning. I wish you called me up before you brought her down. She's not the kind of new blood we need in this town. We need strong black workers. We had some way back when. We need good-hearted women who stand beside their men. If Gilead is gonna be the town it once was again. Ask me why she's here. I only wish I do. Gilead's a place for leaving, not for coming to. Gilead's a place for leaving, not for say coming to. Say what you to. want, say what you will. Something's cooking at the Spitfire Grill. Joey. Hannah. Joey. Miss Cranach. Morning, Shelby. Good morning, Sheriff. Caleb, you forgot your lunch. Gonna join us for a cup of coffee, shall we? Oh, oh Shelby's not much of a coffee drinker. How are you, Shelby? I don't think Hannah needs the help, she'll just get in the way. I hear people talk all over town, they say she has tattoos. It don't take much in Gilead to qualify as new. Say, say what, what you want, want say, say what you will, something's cooking at the grill. Say what you want, say what you will.
broken bones. More than enough. Now are you going to fight the old woman? Then have at it. But hell or high water, we're going to get a doctor to fix it. I don't it. want you to fix it. Where's the closest doctor? Prairie to Shane, 35 miles. send that girl on her way. The girl hasn't been closed one day in 40 years except Christmas. Besides, that girl's the one who got me to the doctor. I don't want to be responsible. Who asked you to be responsible? <laughs> Until I forget my name or start drooling at the mouth, I think I can handle my own decisions. Now, I'm not going to be laid up forever. And until then, Percy will just have to run things. Percy? She can't take over this place alone. Hell, she's fresh out of prison. Maybe Shelby could help out. I don't want Shelby working. Just for a little while. Yeah, Shelby will solve everything, I'm sure. What do you think, Caleb? Have Shelby handle the cash. Have that girl stay in the kitchen. Blind leading the blind. Well, if you boys don't mind, I gotta pee. And I think I can manage that without help from either of you. <laughs> Seven cups white flour, three cups oatmeal, four cups brown sugar, hat, two cups shortening, four cups buttermilk, five cups apples, chopped, a tablespoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of salt, four large fresh eggs, beat, heat oven 350, Grease up square pans. Coffee cake for 36. Dang. Got a recipe for disaster. Turn the stove a little higher. Then jump at a frying pan right into the fire. Never ever cooked a meal that didn't start.
little thick. She could get the spoon in, but she can't get it back out. <laughs> Shell. 
You knew I was showing the court today, and that I needed my blue shirt. I told you I'm sorry. I'm sorry doesn't get the damn shirt washed out, does it? <clears throat> Go home on my break. I'll be in the dryer. My aunt said she was going to write out a list of supplies. It's here on the counter. Thank you. I'll try and drop these off after the bank deposit tonight. In the meantime, you girls try not to burn the place down. Who knows, one day this greasy old spoon might actually sell. Sorry, honey. <laughs> not my business. The scalp potato's finished? Nobody said I couldn't eat leftovers. I, know, I was hungry. Oh, you probably haven't had a decent meal since you went to prison. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly made it a secret of where I've been, have I? No, not exactly. I know you've been saving my bacon in there. I have. <laughs> now that things are sorted out, it's going to be good, huh? You could say that twice and mean it. Just don't tell Kayla about the helping out in the kitchen, okay? <coughs> trying to sell this place? Oh, I don't know. She might just give it away. Not really. I think the Spitfire reminds her of better times. Oh, I don't mean to cry. Oh, no, no, no. It's not that. It's just she doesn't really talk about it. About oh, what? Hannah had a son. Eli was his name. Tall and sweet and strong, loved by everyone. He was like a brother to Kayla. We all looked up to him. As long as he was here, nothing could go wrong. Gilead's favorite son. Then the war came. Oh, he get drafted? No, he enlisted. His dad, Jack, had been kind of a hero in Vietnam, so when it came to Eli's turn to serve, he was very well. The day of his send off, we all put on our Sunday best. Eight years old, with a flag in my hand, step for step. With the big marching band Through the streets Picket fence Whitewash white Every house Perfect trim Painted bright Like Eli We were brave There was a world to save The band's Please save the world, set it 
Booby prize and a Lions Club raffle. <laughs> Why doesn't she? Why doesn't she what? Raffle at all. People do it all the time. Ten bucks to win a TV set or something. For a whole grill, I suppose you're gonna ask for even more. Mercy, shall we? I don't smell coffee brewing. Well, all them hurt her nose. I heard that. Shelby, that stove's not going to lay itself. 
foot's too small. Maybe I ain't a man at all. Maybe I ain't a man.
There's nothing here to tie me down Though a life lived in Gilead Is as worthless as these trees I have seen a lot of worthless things But these trees If this wild woods was mine Things was made believe. I'd walk beneath the branches. I never want to leave. If this wide woods was mine, I'd find a sturdy tree. I'd sit myself beside it, and dreams would come to me. I dream myself deep roots to reach the water. That's what I do. Well, I, got, I better get back inside before Hannah sends the dogs out after me. Parole session over? I think that'll do it for now. All right, then. When I was just a boy, I'd climb that maple tree. I'd look out on the world as far as I could see. Myself deep roots to reach the water. I dream myself long limbs to touch the Ferguson. I saw your article last 
night when I couldn't sleep. <laughs> the reason I couldn't sleep is because my life was falling apart. My husband walked out last year and left me with my high school boy. I'm afraid if I don't do something soon, I might lose him too. Wow. Maybe if I brought us someplace like yours in Gilead, that won't happen. They're all gonna sound like that to hell. <laughs> you can go now, Shelby. We're done here. Caleb will be waiting anyway. Night then. Night, Shell. Uh, better wrap that loaf up good. I gotta get off this leg. Still pretty tender, considering how well the doctor keeps telling me it's healing. Do you, do you, do you think? If a wound goes real deep, the healing can hurt just as bad as what caused it. Might be. Might be. Yeah. Good night!
feather. That's real nice. Thank you. You scared me, that's all. You get that food all out of us. I can bring you something different if you want. I know how it is, eating the same thing till you can't stand the sight of it no more. Would you like that? My name is Percy. You got a name? I think I'll call you Johnny B. Johnny B. How would that do? Percy! Oh! Oh! Maybe next time we won't be so rushed and we'll have more chance to chat. A feather.
People sat at these tables for 20 odd years just to pick up their food and complain. Now they walk in here smiling, they clean off their plates, and the reason ain't hard to explain. The girls at the table beside me tonight give their hearts to whatever they do. And the folks around the grill have a new appetite for the goodness that's coming from you. Oh 
Are we leaving it for some of October nights, isn't it? Keep yourself warm. Autumn colors along Copper Creek near Gilead, Wisconsin. Percy. Joe Sutter, you need to wear a veil around your neck. <laughs> but then you could hear me coming and you might run away. I might. And that'd be a shame. Because then you'd never find out about this. What is it? Ten acres. Looks like a piece of paper to me. My old man sat me down last night. He's so afraid that I'll take that train out of town. But he cut me out of a bit of the family land. <laughs> what you've always wanted. <laughs> he let me choose whatever parcel I liked. So I chose ten acres right along Copper Creek. So close to here that you could throw a stone and hit it. Your worthless words. A corner of it anyway. So you're gonna sell it and move on like you said? I'd like to think the old man didn't raise a fool But sitting in the woods out there in LA I couldn't think why anyone with half a brain Would ever pack his bags and move away I'm just a fool who couldn't see the forest for the trees That is until the day you came along and now that outbound train has one last passenger It's here in this wide woods that I belong You know, there's a small clearing where father put up a small house With trees all around it Maybe tomorrow you'd like to come by so I could give you the nickel tour Maybe I was hoping you could help me decide where to put the front porch Front of the house might be good <laughs> That's why I need your help. There's things they never teach you in a country school. There's things you gotta find out for your own. I may be slow, but even so, I finally know that I don't want to live my life alone. I'm just a fool who couldn't see the forest for the trees. That is until the day came along, and now that outbound train has one last passenger, it's here in this wide woods that I belong, oh, 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 I'm just a fool who couldn't see the forest for the trees, that is until the day you came along. I'm already used to your cooking. <laughs> you gonna want kids? Hell yeah, as many as you're up for. I can't have kids no more. Well then we, we won't, or... No, don't. Please. Will you at least think about it? Percy, do you know I came up with a... Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright. I guess we're just about finished up here anyway. Ain't that right? Right then.
us are you okay? He wants me to marry him. Percy, I said no. That man deserves better than me. I'm not so sure there is any better than you. Yes, Shelby, you don't know me. I know that you're my friend. Do you know why I was locked up for five years? I killed somebody. I was 16 when he got me pregnant. Percy! My mama just slapped me and told me to shut up about it. But you know what? I started loving that little life inside me. Feeling it grow. I got to call him at Johnny B. You know, like that song, Johnny B. Good. I swore to God nothing was ever going to happen to that baby. But Mason, he got drunk and took to me with his fist so bad that my baby. And all I could think was how I had kept my promise. Mason must have been afraid of the police or something. He pulled me out of the hospital, dumped me in the back of his car. Ended up in a motel somewhere. Mason had a bottle. He was getting into it real good. He kept saying that it was right that my baby died. And I didn't say nothing.
Caleb, you should be in bed. You're right. I should be in bed. But you know what? I just couldn't sleep. Must have been something I read. What are you talking about? I had the people over at Jazzy Depot send me some clippings from the Percy Talbot trial. You might want to read them. Well, I don't care what they you say. You should. Did you know that sweet little friend of yours slashed your stepfather? Take a guess how many times. Don't do this. Two or three, maybe? I'm going home. How about 20 or 30? That girl is a cold-blooded killer! That girl is the first home we had since Eli was here! You watch your words, Shelby! I'm tired of watching my words. You're jealous, Kayla, because Percy's doing something for me and this town that you can never do! Shelby, I... I'm sorry. I think you should go find somewhere else to stay for a while.
Thank you. 
I'm not sure if it'll win the blue ribbon, but it's the best of what I've read. Of course, I've made a few spelling corrections. <laughs> I'm sure you did, Abby. This is my favorite. Dear Mrs. Ferguson, I've grown tired of the city. It's no life for me there. I long for a better place with neighbors who care. Dear Mrs. Ferguson, I thought I was destined just to wander and walk. But in some place like Gilead, I know I was home. That's nice, too. Morning. Come back working at the grill again, shall we? Since yesterday. Uh, needed a little time. How's Caleb? He needs a little more time. He'll be alright. We both will. I hope so. Thanks, Abby. So, today's a big day. Here's our picks. Oh, I'll take them to you. But she told us to bring our favorites today. Oh, that's right. But now she just wants us girls. Just us girls? Just us girls. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you just as soon as we know. I know you will. Girls. <laughs> now, Joe, help a little old lady cross the street. Oh, I know. Okay, then. Say, Joe. Uh, I keep, I keep thinking about the other night, and I just wanted to tell you. You don't have to tell me anything. I, I know a little something about wild birds. Yeah. I don't know nothing about front porches, but I got some ideas for that house of yours. Yeah. Maybe later you could stop by. All right, just tell it. Percy will do it. You'll never 